kids and welcome to another hair tutorial inspired by the Hunger Games movie. Um, what I'm going to have a go at today is the hairstyle that Foxface wears in the arena. She's got two little buns on the back of her head and I think it's really cute. Um, what you are going to need are a couple of hair ties, just ordinary sized ones. I'm using these uh, brown ones uh, because they kind of blend into my hair. And you are going to need some mini donuts. Now, this is a mini donuts. These are available from Claire's Accessories. They cost about £3.50 and you get two in a pack. Um, just for comparison, this is a regular size one and then the mini one. Um, but what we're going to be doing is creating sock buns in exactly the same way um, as we do with the regular size ones. So. Um, we're going to be using the, the folding technique, um, which I showed you in a previous tutorial. And um, yeah, just, just making sure that you've got one on each side, I suppose. Um, so, I'm going to grab my mirror and uh, let's get going. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to detangle my hair, make sure there's uh, no knots. And I'm going to uh, split it straight down the middle. Um, it has been commented on that I've got a middle parting. And uh, for a lady as advanced in years as myself, um, this is considered mm, not cool, shall we say. But um, I can't do side partings. I've tried. And my hair just isn't interested. It doesn't want to know. It will fall into a flat centre parting no matter what I try to do. So I'm just going to split down the middle there and hopefully get a nice straight line all the way down. Let's grab my mirror and have a look. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now I'm just going to tie this off into a little bunch just so it's out the way. And this other one, I'm going to put into a little pony. I'm going to try and get it sort of in the middle. Just a high bunch at the top of my head. It's not as easy as it looks, really. should be fine. Now the next task is to get this second one to match up. I always end up with one higher than the other when I do anything like this. Um, when I did Time Pages Skyrim hair tutorial I ended up with one higher than the other. Just uh, seems to be something that happens to me. Okay, so I'm just going to check that those are even and adjust where necessary. Okay, that is almost even, I would say. What I'm going to do is to take a donut, slide it over one of my bunches, and um, traditionally what you would do is pull the hair over like that so it covers, and then go round and round like that and pin, which... Uh, may well be what happened with Fox Face's hair. It's never 
particularly clear what's going on because you don't see the back of their head very often. Um, a complaint I have, incidentally, about a lot of the Hunger Games hairstyles, there's, uh, there's not enough shots of the back of the head. The uh, filmmakers should know that there are ladies out there like me who want to see the backs of people's heads. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm pulling my little donut all the way down. I'm going to fold the ends back, like so. And I'm going to roll the donut towards my head. Just creates a bigger um, bun. And I can shift the hair around um, to make sure it's uh, all the brown mesh I've got here is covered up. So there we have one bun. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. And roll. And it takes a bit of practice to get this right. The ends tend to poke out. Um, so if it's not right first time, don't worry, just give it another go. So that is how it ends up. You can see that they're not quite even, not quite the same height. Um, but this is the general idea, this is the look we're going for. And um, if you were to use bigger donuts and um, put them sort of over your ears, you'd have that sort of princess layer look, which is great for costume parties. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.